Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a very important software which is known as UIC Pro for PC. Why this video is very important? Look, we are going to describe the following thing in this video. The first thing we should describe that what is UIC UIC Pro for PC. Second thing is that why is a CCTV app is important and third thing feature and function of UIC Pro app for PC and the fourth thing that how you download UIC Pro for PC and the final thing is that we configure we installed the UIC Pro for PC and finally we configure them and give you a live view so keep watching and please like share this video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one so let us start the first thing that what is uic pro for pc is a, is a software which is a is a bms or is a the software that associates, associates cctv devices from different locations this uic pro for pc app connect many devices from different locations and shows them to us from remote areas it is accessible from anywhere so now the question arises why is a cctv app is important cctv app is a powerful software that can associate many cctv devices with this application and give you access from any remote location cctv app issues full security and safety it connect to devices install different lo locations and show them up from a foreign place okay so it means that you should it, this app allow you to remotely connect uh, device with IP camera DVR and we are access them in one place and you are able to monitor you are able to check record you are able to change the setting according to your need okay so the third is feature and function of UIC Pro app for PC this first thing is that that this product uses advanced data technology and it continuously adjusts data from low network areas and gives you continuous videos in our, it, it can auto adjust the frame rate and and the bandwidth there is no time gap between the video and capturing any video relay you get the videos in real time you can zoom in an object speak to someone else listen them and monitor them if you have a mic inbuilt camera this app support manual recording and cloud server recording you can put the recording on the server and keep data safe this product is used to alert the people on camera site so and now i will show you that how you installed or how you how you download the uic pro for windows the, you, the first thing you should know you should do that click on this chrome or any browser and just log in them from any profile and here you should search uic pro for pc when you should when you search for uic pro for pc you find many website and here i download from this website and after that here you find that download button is up is available so you should, you, should, you should click on this download now wait for a 10 second it will automatically redirect you to download page now here is our download just click on this I'll start downloading let the download to be finished and in the next step we are going to describe we are going to demonstrate you that how you install that this app and final how you configure them so keep watching now as you see that my download is completed 
so i now i will show you that how you install this software and how you configure them and just just click in show in folder when you just click on the show in folder you find a uh, this software name just right click on this and click extract When you start, you find a folder name of name. Just click on this. Again, just click on this, and here you find the your exe file. So just click run as administrator. Click on yes. Just click on I have just just click. this and click on this and you should take a smart vision storage server after that click next and again you should if you want a shortcut on your desktop just click this otherwise untick and click installed and just wait for a few minute once it is completed you will get the notification and you get a notification that it was successfully installed it will take time more approx 2 to 3 minute now it is successfully installed just click on this run smart pss and click on finish when you click on finish here you find that you should ask for a password so you should use a alpha numeric password and you should click this auto login after session so it won't ask you to you uh, to to insert a password again and again just click on next and here it is asked for a few question you should uh, choose according to your choice i have just given you a demo so i just will add a character f just finish now this is the interface of the software okay so here it will give, give you a video all option and all so just click on this here you find a multi a here this is the interface of the software okay so you find a many option like live view access video wall and so on and so but i will give you what you should do first first you think first step you should do is that here you just click on the devices this one when you click on devices here you find two option auto search or add if you are if you connected to on the same network means your laptop and your and and we are means ip camera or and we are is can be on the same network from the same router then you should click on auto search it will auto it will automatically fetch the ip address of your device and but in my case or in our case that you should uh, remotely view our device so for that just click on this again so you put any device name like in my case i use test device Okay, here you find an IP in domain. For example, if your NVR or DVR or your devices and your laptop both are connected on the same network, means it's connected on the same router, then you should click on IP domain. Okay, and if you want to connect remotely connect any device, you should click SN. Okay, and here you should enter a serial number. Okay, so. how you find a serial number on your device you just click on the network option and just click on about devices and over that you find your serial number okay so you should here i should enter my serial number okay
so here I should enter my serial number and here you should in enter a uh, username of the device means IP camera NVR or DVR ok so I should use my username and here is the password so you should use the password you should enter the password of your device means ip camera dvr nvr whatever you are adding and just click on add and just wait for a few minutes here it, de it totally depends on the internet connection on the remote side means your your device and your uh, and your uh, laptop so here you should find that your device is connected and here you find a green symbol and after that just click on new just click on live view When you click on live view, just click on this and here you should find that a live view of the camera. Okay, so hope you like our video. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one. Thank you. Have a nice day.